TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what we want to do is we want to program an HMI input in the Siemens TII Portal V114. Now, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to just create a very basic program. The normally open contact and a generic output. Now, for the input, we are going to create the name HMI input. Very, very simplistic. And notice, it needs to be tagged to something. And just like the HMI output that we did in the previous video, we right-click and select Define Tag. This memory location of M0.0 .0 works great. If we wanted to modify it to something else for um, organization reasons, that'd be okay too, but we'll leave it as is right now. We'll select Define. Notice that HMI input here is now, it is now uh, the underline is gone, and it has now been tagged to that memory location. For the output, what we'll do is we will use um, we'll use bright yellow light, and this will be on your TII technical education system trainers. And we'll come up here and split the screen, and select the PLC, and this one is going to output five. So we will drag this down to Q05, and as you can see over here, it has now been tagged. I can close out my split screen, and this program, this part, is actually ready to download. So at this point, what we can do is come over here, stop the CPU, select OK, go ahead and download to the device, load, start all, OK. Now your PLC program is now ready to ready to go. So what we'll do now is we'll go over to our root screen and we want to grab a pre-made push button that Siemens provides us. So we're going to go over to the libraries. We want to go to where the same place we got our output, the, um, and we want to go to buttons. Okay, expand out our master copies, and we want to do just a basic push button switch. So we'll expand this out. And we'll grab a push button green, a round green one. Select it, make it roughly the size of a normal push button so an operator can actually physically touch it so they can be certain that they're actually touching the button and activating it. So uh, minimize your library. Now what we want to do is double click. And when we double click, our properties bring up. And what we need to do is we need to tag this HMI input to the tag that we created on our PLC. Now, if you notice here, this is not appearing, okay? Um, sometimes it'll appear, um, sometimes it won't, but if it doesn't appear right away, what you can do is you can go to specific, uh, specify the tag, okay? And in your PLC tag folder, under your PLC that you've created, Expand this out, go to default tag table, and as you'll notice, here's your HMI tag input. So you can select this, select OK, or uh, click the check button, and now this has been tagged. Now, this is ready to download. All right, when your load preview um, is ready, just click the override button, hit load, 7.2. You can see your HMI screen is loading. And there's your green push button. So when you come over here, you select your push button, the light comes on. Deactivate the button, the light turns off. So this is a latching HMI input. Now, if we wanted to verify this on the PLC program, we could come down, select your main OB1, and put this into monitor on mode. Now you can see the switch is turned off. We do not have logical continuity indicated by the blue dashed lines. We come over here, 
Select the green push button on the HMI. Light turns on. You have green logical continuity here on your screen. And this is how we create an HMI input using Siemens TIA Portal V114, and we've downloaded it to the TII Technical Education Systems Siemens PLC and HMI Trainer. This was Unit 7.2. You're ready to go on to the next unit.